Hey guys, I'm Bran. I like to make 3D sculpts in Blender and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, I was scrolling around Twitter the other day and I saw a retweet of one of Jellet's drawings. He's got a super appealing and recognizable drawing style and I was thinking, I wonder if I could pull this off in 3D. Like, I'm no Folygon. I'm not gonna be able to do a one-to-one -one recreation of these drawings, but maybe I could capture some of Jellet's style in a sculpt. So looking for something to sculpt on his feet, I was really into this Chun-Li drawing for a 3D sculpt until I scrolled a bit more and saw a bunch of these Sakura drawings and I gotta say, character design wise, I really like the Sakura better and look at how Jellet draws her hair. So I made the decision and I went with a Sakura sculpt. I went with this drawing, Sakura doing her Shouken attack and it came out like this. And I had so much fun with that one that I made an alternate pose from this drawing of Sakura in a hurry and it came out like this. Okay, so I've wasted enough time on this intro thingy, so on to the sculpt. Uh, first thing, I dumped a bunch of Jellet's drawings into Blender for reference and started blocking out with subdivided cubes. The main goal here is to get a silhouette and the proportions pretty close so I have something to work on. And speaking of proportions, boy are they exaggerated. We got a super small waist, big old thunder thighs, skinny arms that bump way out at the forearms, and it looks a little weird during the block out, but um, I gotta say, I'm into it. I had a couple of false starts on the head. I think I tried to sculpt the head like three different times. Kept getting hung up on translating the shape from 2D to 3D. I had all these different references, but each of the drawing's heads were drawn a bit different with different face and eye shapes, so what I eventually went with is this particular diamond-shaped eye and a face shape that would favor a three-quarter camera angle the most. I threw in a cylinder for the headband and began modeling her hair chunks with curves. For the front hair, I shaped them over top of the reference and then just moved them over to the model. And the same thing for a couple of the big old chunks on top. Once I got enough hair pieces, I started tweaking and stretching them into place to cover any of the gaps. Then I started working on the underlayer on the back of the hair just enough strands to fill in the back so I can drape bigger chunks over them. I took a subdivided cube and molded it into a bean shape to serve as the eyebrows. They're just going to float over the forehead just like it does in Jellet's drawings. After I apply all the modifiers, I joined the body pieces together and remeshed them to a single mesh so I can start sculpting in a few details. The most important parts detail-wise are going to be whatever isn't going to be covered by the clothes. So that means the knees, and the elbows, stomach, luckily not the feet. And when it comes to the boobs, I added some volume between them to make them one big old uniboob. That way the shirt will be a little easier to deal with later. To finish up the body sculpt, I carved in some deep valleys in the palm to give the hand a bit more of a handy looking hand shape. Next, I ran the head and the body through quad remesher to get the quad count back down. So I'll be able to rig it a little bit easier. Before rigging though, I ran a vert around the eye to make some eyelashes. We then throw a Rigify rig on and place the bones, parent the body to the rig with automatic weight and give it a little test. Then parent all of the head parts to the head bone. To make her clothes, I extracted some geometry from the base mesh and added a solidify modifier to give it some thickness. This is the basic workflow for making most of her clothes, just with a few tweaks and edits here and there to make it work. I extracted her socks from the base mesh and scaled up a few loops to make them look a little droopy, then started modeling her shoes. I took a plane and shaped it how I wanted the sole to look, then extruded it up to create the shoe. Applied the subdivision and extracted some of the planes to make the tongue. For her skirt, I added a circle and then checker deselected the verts and scaled it in to get a saw looking shape, then extruded it up to her waist and added a few loops then shaped it with proportional editing. Now I'm adding a few very basic materials, nothing fancy, just cranking up the sheen on the clothes. The hair materials on the other hand I robbed from a Zelda sculpt I've been working on over the past couple weeks. Don't be afraid to reuse things you've already made. If you can save some time, then do that, rather than recreating something that you've already created just to get the same results again. From here, I go into pose mode and try to get myself close to the pose from the drawing. The cool thing about posing now is that if some of our proportions are way off, we can scale some of the rig's controller handles to get some of these shapes closer to where we want them. 
rigging with auto weights can only get you so far, which is why we have these different layers clipping in and out. And uh, after we finish posing, I'll go around and pull the clothes with the grab or inflate brush until they aren't clipping any anymore. We'll also sculpt the clothes into their final shapes, giving the shirt and the skirt a more flowy and fan servicey appearance. To make her mouth, I shaped a subdivided cube to have the shape that I can use to carve the mouth out with. Once it's in place, I apply a boolean and sculpt the bottom lip on her face. The tongue is just a sphere and the teeth is a cube that I subdivided and stretched out into teeth shape. After a few minor tweaks, we have our first pose finished. Looks pretty good, seems okay. Now, if you remember at the top of the video, I did say that I made two poses. Now, before I finished that last pose, I did make a separate save so I can start off at the T pose with no sculpting again. So, I reverted back to that save and I went back into pose mode and I'm gonna try to get as close as we can to this drawing. There are a couple of extra props in this particular drawing, so let's start off with her I'm late for something anime girl running toast in the mouth. I started with a plane and shaped it to kind of look like bread, then I gave it some thickness, then I extracted a few of the random planes and added a subdivision to round it off, gave it some thickness and a purple color with some low roughness to make it look like jelly, pop the toast in her mouth, and then we can move on to the gum. I added a couple of torus knot curves together and then remeshed them, put them on her shoe and then duplicated it and put it on the ground. Then using a curve path with a few circles as the bevel to make the stretched section of the gum, make it pink and shiny and we can start on our last prop. The bag is just a cube that I kept extracting geometry from to create the top section and the straps. I snagged a plane and added a few loops then deleted the center plane to make the buckle. I moved the bag into place around her hand and started working on getting the straps into her hand and then dress it up by adding some materials. I then added a multi-res modifier to the head and started puffing out the lips around the toast and inflated her cheek. I also added a couple of planes to her face with the jelly material to make it look like she's a bit more messy. All that's left is the final tweaks, taking care of any of the clipping, tightening the hands and the fingers up, floofing up her shirt, and you gotta make sure that you flip her skirt up enough to see her bloomers. That way we have just enough fan service. The very last thing, I pulled Jellet's drawing into Photoshop so I could recreate the background and then brought it into Blender, put together a three-point lighting setup, the floor, the background, and we're done! If you'd like to explore the blend file for this sculpt repose or elaborate on it, there's a free download over on my Gumroad. Do whatever you want with this. Also, if you'd like to learn how to sculpt characters in Blender, I have a series of free tutorials that have kind of turned into a course over the past month where we create a character sculpt together. Lastly, be sure to check out Jellet's Twitter. So many great drawings over there, and I really want to sculpt a whole bunch more of them. All the links are in the description. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments, and I'll try to get to them. All right, bye.